Good morning, it's me. I'm back. I'm Stephanie Flath, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. It is Wednesday morning, later than 1030. I'm so sorry, I'm a few minutes late. Um, but it is um, June 9. Oh, and Janet is on. Good morning, Janet. I see a few of you are popping on, but I don't see names yet. Um, okay, so while you guys are getting on, I'm going, hi Carrie, I'm going to refresh my screen here so that I can see comments on my thing. Good morning, Terry and Nancy. You girls were just waiting for me, weren't you? Sorry for, sorry for lateness. Um, no excuses. Yay, you remembered today. Good job. <laughs> um, I remember today too. <laughs> Hi, Wendy. I'm so glad to see you. How are you? Um, are you in the middle of a lockdown again? I don't remember what your situation is. Um, Wendy is from... Oh, and I forgot my water upstairs. Good thing I have my water bottle here. Um, hi, Sherry. Um, Wendy is from the UK. Um, and we met... Was it Leaders? Leaders Summit? Or whatever that was called. Or was it on stage? Hi, Kathy. Mm. dry mouth again today okay so the first thing that I want to mention before I go to my randomizer is um, I don't know if any of you it ended up being kind of late I thought it would be quick but it took me like an hour for some reason to get it posted maybe I was dawdling or something I don't know um, but I don't know if you were up later last night or if you saw your notifications um, or not, but I, um, posted my next crafting retreat and invited a whole bunch of you. Good morning, Cindy. Um, I invited a bunch of you. So the date is August 21 and, um, Nadine and I are putting it on together and, um, zoom in a backstage or something. Okay. I know it does. Oh yeah, because wasn't it wasn't it in the wee hours in the morning? Or was that one not with you? Yours would have been wee hours if it was backstage. Um, hi Sin thank you for sharing. I have two Cindy's on today. Good morning. <laughs> um uh anyway, so um our crafting retreat will be Saturday, August twenty one. It's an all day thing. It starts at ten o'clock and ends at ten o'clock or whenever you need to leave. Um, we, uh, oh cool, sounds good. Um, I'm hoping there's a lot of interest for this. Um, okay, gotcha. <laughs> um, uh, I'm hoping there's a lot of interest for this, so you will be better off um, registering early so that you get your spot. Um, because it's both Nadine's customers and my customers and, um, team and stuff like that. Whoever's, whoever's interested. Anyway, so make sure that you register early. So just saying that you're going on Facebook doesn't guarantee you your spot. So keep that in mind. Um, but we haven't had one since a year and a half ago. I'll say half, not quite a year and a half ago. Um, February, we were supposed to have one last June. Um, and, uh, oh yeah, I don't have a clue if we will do a live or a Zoom at some point that day. Um, I know, I, I, um, I, I know it's a long drive and I, I actually went back and invited you because I had invited some of our other, um, travel group. And I didn't want to not invite you, even though I know it's farther away. So, um, thanks for wanting to be here, but I totally get it. Um, anyway, we've not had one in over a year, and I'm so excited that we can do it again. Um, the church that we have it at, that is nice, big, open for a bunch of people. Um, uh, it's, it's letting people rent again, so I'm really excited. Um, I'll have to consider 
that, Nancy, but I'm not sure it will come to mind. <laughs> um, uh, it will just be impromptu. I'm, I'm not making any promises. Okay, thank you. I see a bunch of you have liked and shared already. Thank you so much. For those of you who may be new watching me, um, I'm going right now to my randomizer. Everything that I make um, on my... Um, on my live, on my live video, excuse me, sorry, I give away. So what you need to do to be able to be in the drawing for that is to um, share this video and, um, and then you have to tell me that you shared because um, Facebook is funny or notifications are funny or whatever and I can't see everybody um, that shares just because there's a share button there that says however many people shared so you need to let me know so thank you so much um, Jana already won last time but I haven't sent anything out yet since I've been back on so I still have I still have my cards sitting here okay so I'm starting my randomizer right now I have two cards remember what we did last week with that was the um, cute turtles oh Judy Cole was my first winner yay um, um, let's see. Okay, so congrats, Judy. Yay. Um, so, Turtle Friends, I think, is the name of the bundle. And I'm picking another name. So I have two cards. So this is my second and last one. Thank you for sharing. And Marilyn Addy won. Yay. Did she win last week? I have it written down somewhere where I don't know I know where and then I cut it off so I'm gonna have to go back through and look again okay so congrats Marilyn and Judy and I'm gonna go back so I can see comments now oops that's the wrong spot too many tabs open are you guys one that has lots of tabs open on your on your computer screen <laughs> I always do I always have I'm a multitasker I'm not, I, I'm not sure I'm always efficient in that, but I, I'm always multitasking. When I'm in the kitchen, I'm usually making two meals at the same time, not just the one that we're trying to have. Um, or when I'm making, um, I've been, been eating differently, and one of my favorite things, or our favorite things actually, not just mine, probably this is why it sort of became mine too. I like it for sure. Um, but it was something that Todd liked too, so I'm like, well, if he likes it, I'm gonna make sure I keep it on hand. But anyway, it's a lemon blueberry cheesecake shake is what it's called. And um, anyway, it's like it sounds, except that the, there's no sugar. Um, I'm been using, not, I don't know, how, I don't know how you describe it. It's non, non, oh. How do you say it? It doesn't affect your blood sugar level. So non-blood sugar level affecting sweeteners. Um, so stevia is one of them. That is the, the totally natural one derived from a plant. And then there's a couple other ones that are like the alcohol base of the plant. Or I don't know, some, I don't know how to explain it. <clears throat> anyway, so what I'm doing is, um, all centered around protein and not raising the blood sugar. So this, sh I made, when I'm, so I started this because when I make shakes, I'm like making, I have the blender out, so I need to do it. Um, so I'm making shakes for this kind and then shakes for this kind and, and I'm, I'm usually doing <laughs> multiple things. So anyway, I love the lemon blueberry. I probably have that when I'm done here because I didn't eat breakfast yet. All right, so I shared about um, our retreat. I'm really excited about that. Um, so if anybody has questions about that, now is a perfect time to ask me um, the information on registration, the price and everything is, is in the event. And if you did not get an invitation but would like one, um, 
probably the easiest thing would be to either friend me on Facebook and then if I'm, we're not already friends, um, and then I can send you that invitation or I need your, or message me or whatever and I can send you the, the information on it. Excuse me. But it's, um, it's a day, we do provide a couple projects and stuff to make those projects so you get a goodie bag. Um, lunch and dinner is included unless you prefer to bring your own. You have that option and we give you a discount on that. And you get a full table to work, so it's a project day. So you get to work on, you bring your own project and it doesn't have to be stamping. It can be, um, we've had quilters there or, um, um, Oh, um, Nadine's daughter came and made, I think they're those, I think she, they are, I don't remember for sure because I don't, I can't picture it exactly, but I think she made one of those fleece blankets where you tie them, tie the ends up in a knot all around it. Um, anyway, um, and then I saw, I saw lots of other things. Oh, <laughs> Uh, you can bring in, come and cut coupons if you'd like. It, it, what you do is completely up to you. You bring that project. We provide a couple projects and you just get to hang with friends. And so, anyway, that's what the day is about. It's so much fun. So, um, through June 14, nope, we provide snacks and... Um, and dinner. That's what's included. Um, unless you opt out of that. Um, so no, we have that all covered, Sherry. Um, what you do need to do, we'll provide water and I'll, I'll mention this in like follow-up emails or confirmation emails or whatever. We do provide water. Um, but if you want something other than water, then that you need to bring yourself. Um, but thank you for asking, Sherry. I appreciate it. Um, Okay, through June 14, you still have the opportunity to get extra um, host rewards. I just took advantage of that yesterday, honestly. Um, so if you have a workshop or a, even an order by yourself, it doesn't have to be with a bunch of other people. Um, if you are the hostess of a workshop or an online order that's at least $250, you get an extra $25 of free product. So that is through the 14th. Anyway, <laughs> I know I hear ya. Well, I mean, you can bring them if you want to. I think somebody did, um, but that's up to you. And you can even bring your own snacks. We'll have snacks there, but if you want some right at your table that you don't have to go walk and get, <laughs> you can do that. It's, it's however you like to craft, but we will have food there. Um, uh, so I think that was it. The promotion is going on. Today's the 9th. So tomorrow, I don't know if you guys have noticed the, I should show you. I'm going to grab my catalog a second. I don't know if you guys have noticed the, um, I think it's called Expressions in Ink. Um, I need to double check it. Um, mm, the name, I used it on my first live. Um, ink, no, I'm just going to have to look for it. I used the stamp set, Artistic Expressions, no, I think it's Expressions in Ink, but I'm going to have to find it. Um, if you guys, if that sweet, um, spoke to you. I, does anybody remember the page page number that that stamp set's on? I can't even remember the name of the stamp set, suddenly. Um, I thought it was, oh, Artistic Expressions, maybe? Artistically Inked? I think that's it. Let me look. 97. Um, so the... Yes, that's the one. Okay, Expressions and in Ink is the name of the suite, but you can't look sweets up. Um, so here is the, the
the suite. Page 97 is the, where the stamp set is. Here's the stamp set that I used on, uh, I think it was on my first live um, when I was back. Um, anyway, the paper pumpkin kit that you need to um, subscribe to by tomorrow is, um, is what's the word? <laughs> I can't think of the right word. Um, inspired by this, I guess I'll say. It's sort of focused on this, that the box even looks cool, like, like this inky kind of stuff. And I think I just heard you get two ink spots on it. I, I think. I didn't, I don't know where I heard it. Um, anyway, tomorrow is the last day to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin to get that specific kit. Um, I also shared last week that you can get lots of other kits, and some of them are past paper pumpkin kits or past celebration kits. You can get um, lots of different kits online, and Stampin' Up! changed to that way of doing things rather than having um, kits just in the catalog um, because they want to swap them out and not have a situation of like, these are back ordered. They can just when they're done with something or out of something they can just put something else in or they just can change it up more often so okay now for today i need one more drink before i get going okay so today when i was deciding what i wanted to play with today these caught my eye i i love shapes i love geometric kind of stuff so like the fact that the stitch shapes dies are gone that breaks my heart you know I just love that kind of thing so when I saw this set it was definitely a must-have sort of thing um, um, so watercolor shapes is the name of it and then I'm also going to pair um, this is called sunny sentiments and I loved it so much that I bought it again yesterday on mistake because I was trying to hurry with something. <laughs> um, so I'm going to have a stamp set here to sell off to you guys sometime when you're here. Um, uh, anyway, so I'm using those two things together. And I'm going to use them. Um, oh, and I also added a little flower from some other set. Um, I just needed something for a spot on my card. So I'm gonna make two cards that are sort of, they're using shapes, but I don't know, just the the look of it, the, I don't know, whatever. It seems totally different. That was my goal anyway, so you can tell me if I accomplished that goal or not. So I'm gonna put you down. I need my wand, and I'm gonna unbackwards you and upside down you, and Oh, and I want to put you down a little bit more. Okay, so here we are, all nice and straight. Okay, so I have this piece of white cardstock, and I'm going to use um, soft succulent. This is one of our new in colors. Ooh, cool. Which one do you have coming this Friday? Um, which set? Watercolor shapes? Is it shapes? Yes, watercolor shapes or sunny sentiments, Wendy. <clears throat> Okay, so I have this white cardstock, and um, what I'm going to do, this is bugging me. Hmm. Maybe it'll be at a spot where it'll get covered. I don't know. Okay, so I'm taking, I'm using greens on this card, and it's going to go on the soft succulent card base. So this is mint macaroon. So one of the things that's a little bit, Okay, gotcha. Um, a little bit different to deal with with these is, um, can you see that that ink looks really splotchy? Sometimes it's hard to know if you have it inked up well. Well, if you look here at the case, those are splotchy also. That's the way it's supposed to be. So just keep that in mind. Sometimes it's just hard to let yourself go on that one, but it's good. So I'm going to put this down here. I do have a cushion under here um, because, uh, because they're photopolymer 
and um, you definitely need that for these great big things. Okay, next color is soft succulent. Soft, is it succulent? I said this last time too, didn't I? Soft succulent. There's not multiple succulents in this ink. <laughs> um, so I got this one here. Oh, I just saw a hair or fuzzy or something that's on here. Oh, it's not bad. I thought I saw a hair. Okay. So there's not... A, on camera it looks like a huge difference, but in person it doesn't look like a huge difference in these two colors, but I thought they went together okay. Alright, next color I'm using is Soft Sea Foam. So Mint Macaroon and Soft Sea Foam are Subtles colors. Soft Succulent is one of the newest in colors. Now this one is a hair, and I caught it before I did it. Ha! All right, so I'm putting this here, and closing this up, and then I'm using Evening Evergreen, which is also one of the newest in colors. I have little things on here. That, that one wasn't here this time. So I'm using this tiny square here. And I'm going to stamp here. And I'm going to ink it up. And I'm going to turn it. I don't want the... I don't want the... Um, maybe I want it this way. I don't want the shadowing stuff going the same way. Same direction. Alright, so here's my background. And my card's almost done. So I didn't want to cover all this up, so I'm choosing my bold stamp. This says, thank you for all the little things you do and for your big heart. I love that. I love word stamp sets. How about you guys? Those are always the first ones that att attract my attention. Always. I just love words and fonts and... And it really matters, the font, because if I don't like a font, that totally will talk me out of the stamp set. That's just how I am. Okay, so I don't need my cushion under here, but I'm leaving it under here. So I'm going to put this. Thank you for all the little things. Oh, so this is Black Stays On, by the way. This stamp set is not photopolymer. It's the red rubber. Ooh, yay. I love how deep and bold that is on there. I was going to do, when I first started designing this card, I was going to do Evening Evergreen on here, and it just wasn't quite as bold as I wanted it to be. Um, so I decided to add it into this mix of greens and use black. Oops, that's not the one I want. Okay, so now I am putting this attaching this to my card base. As you can see, two things. One, I've been doing longer strips with this because it just makes it work easier. And two, I cut this layer a little bit differently. I didn't want just a plain looking layer. So, it is four and a quarter inches this way by five inches so I have no border on the side but I have a border up at the top and bottom I just wanted it different but I wanted all my shapes to fit on here too and so anyway so now what I want to do is just bring in another pop of black so I'm using the black matte dots again and I'm using the big ones mostly because I have more of them and I want to use this tiny one on this tiny shape. And there's my card. That's it. I love the greens together. Todd would love this card. He loves greens. Um, so there's that. Okay. So now for my next card, what I want to do is... Oh, I need to... Um, 
I need to clean my stamps just a second. Because I'm using some of the same shapes. Not all of them. But they will not be in the same colors. Thank you. Glad that you like it. Okay. Clean that one. Clean this one. And I'm not going to worry about the others. Okay. So now for this one, I'm, I'm going like this for making my drawing. Okay. So I wanted these to be really bright colors. That one is, um, the one I just did, it's sort of, not that these colors don't pop, but it's just sort of a, a more subtle color scheme, I guess I'll call it. And I want bright ones for this card, partly because of the same that I want to use. So I'm starting with, this time, um, this is an oval. There is, I think, a smaller oval. Is there a smaller oval? Yeah, there's a really skinny oval. Um, I'm not using that one. I'm just using this one. Okay, so this is Bumblebee. And I am going to use that later, so I'm going to... Oh, don't get my card in it. Okay, and then... Um, I'm going to use Coastal Cabana. Oh, yeah, Muted is a good idea, Marsha. Thanks. Um... I can never figure out the right words. I don't script these typically, as you probably can tell. I barely get my plan made. Oh, I wanted it open. I barely get my plan ready. So a script is not the thing. Okay, so Bumblebee, that's an older in color, but still current. Um, Coastal Cabana is a bright. Um, Polished pink. This is actually the first time I'm using polished pink. Um, and I gotta make sure this is clean and no no green on it. I think I didn't clean it well last night when I was working. So this is the new from the new in colors. Polished pink. Then gorgeous grape is also a bright color from the Brights family. Close that one. Then I want Coastal Cabana again. Done with that. Polished Pink again. And did I put it? Oh, here it is. And Bumblebee again. So there's my background. I'm all done with my colored stamping. Okay, so I have all these bright colors. I love them. Looks cool on camera. Um, I have all these bright colors, and I want to, first of all, I want to put it on bright cardstock, but also um, something like this. Um, it pops, adding a little bit of black to it. So I have a tiny little like my measurements are an eighth of an inch apart. So I went a little bit of black behind it. Excuse me. And then it's going to go on um, polished pink cardstock. Okay, here's my card. Now I'm going to add my greeting. I'm going to start with this. I already used my rectangles, stitched rectangles dies. They do look like jewels. <laughs> um, I'm using my stitched rectangles, and I'm using the, I thought you could use some sunny thoughts today. I just think that's such a sweet, 
Sweet saying. Perfect, perfect greeting for sending somebody some sunshine, some warm and happy thoughts. It's a funner way of saying thinking of you. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go over just a little bit because of my plan for this. Oh, good, it stamped well. I was struggling with this stamp last night, but I think it was because it was the first time I used it and I didn't clean it before I did it. Okay, so I have it offset because of, when it, because of what I want to do with it. Now, do you remember last week I really wanted to use these? Um, I should put something behind it. I really wanted to use these, and now I don't remember what they're called. Is it here? Square Gems. They're the last year's in color, so they're still around, but they're square gems. And I really wanted to use these last week, and I couldn't figure out how I could do it. And um, this is how I'm doing it today. So, oh, I just peeled it right off the backing. Darn it. I hate when that happens. I really hate when, cust when it happens to customers, because they don't realize they're doing it, and then they just lose their jewel. All right. So I'm peeling, putting these on here. So I like this. Um, I know my my card on this one isn't all squares. This would have been a um, a fun thing to use if I had the right colors on the other card too. And these colors aren't all the correct ones that I used today, but they go well. So it is Bumblebee. That one is correct, but this one is the. Magenta Madness instead of polished, instead of polished pink, and this one is Jade, just Jade instead of Coastal Cabana, but it will work. And I should have put this. I did it again. I did it last night too. I should have put my adhesive on here before I put my jewels on here or gems on here. Again, I wanted a tiny little bit of black behind it. All right, and I want to position this on here, but I just felt like this corner needed something. So somewhere here, where did I put it? I know it's mounted here somewhere. I mounted it and hid it from myself. That's what I did. I think I'm going to have to find it. Shoot, I specifically wanted this flower. I had it in my... Oh, there it is. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. He's the one that has to help me find it. I can't do it on my own. <laughs> um, so, I, so this is from... I just love this tiny little flower. This is from Lovely You. This is a stamp set from last year. But I love this one for some reason. It just fits perfectly. It's just simple and cute and bold and um so i'm going to ink this up and just stick it in the corner <laughs> that'll be definitely be a sunny day okay and then i'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back of here so i want to not quite go all the way up to the top so it's upside down right now but that is the top of my greeting. Um, I don't want to go all the way to the top here because of how I'm going to put it on my card. One, two, three, four, five. And then just going to overlap a little bit so I didn't want because I still want to see all my shapes up there um, so I didn't want my dimensionals up there so here's my other card okay so that's all for the stamping so I'm going to put you back up so I'm going to upside down you backwards here I am huh. don't you just love those unnecessary close-ups <laughs> uh, okay do I like Oh, good. It's at a good height. Okay, so I'm going to go back to, here's the last one that I made so that you can see it. I, 
seemed like the lighting was actually good this time for seeing my cards. Um, so here's this one. Thank you. I'm glad that you love those cards. Um, and here's the first one that I made. Okay. Now also, I want to thank you. Um, I want to show you. This is the first one that I did. I have a little oops on it, but um, I, I don't know. I just decided I didn't want this many or this particular flower. This is actually from the strawberry bundle, but this is... Um, this is the first one that I did with those colors. Partly I went with the pink because I had it already cut. <laughs> Instead of, I didn't have another bumblebee card base cut. So this was my first one that I did. Okay, so that's it for stamping. Anybody have questions or anything like that? Yeah, it was very good today. And it's kind of, it's trying to be sunny out, but it's not exactly sunny out. Um, but that's all that I can think of that I have to share with you. I shared my... Oh, I will share sometime today. I don't know that I'll get to it right away. Um, but I will share in on my page here and then also in Dad's Advice Stamping Community um, the information about the retreat. Also, oh. oh, excuse me, so sorry. Um, so I'll make sure that it's on the those two spots besides it just being a, an event. Um, so, okay, thank you so much for joining me today. I think I got done kind of early today. It wasn't as Gabby as as Gabby as I sometimes am. <laughs> Or maybe it's just because I only did two cards. I don't know. But I did two cards last week and almost took an hour, I think. Anyway. Oh, Judy just got on. Hi, Judy. But I'm just getting off. I'm so sorry. Oh, you were a winner, by the way. Um, so I have a card for you that I'm going to send you. Um, so I'm sorry I'm not here to chat with you more. I hope you're doing well. Thank you all for joining me today. And I will see you again next week. Thank you. Bye. Oh, of course, Wendy, you can do my, um, you can case what I did. That is perfectly fine. <laughs> Thanks for asking, though, but you can always do that. <laughs> Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.